this is Emily. We have reached another one of our destinations in our US RV tour in the year 2020. We've had so much fun and I'd like to share some of our experiences. But please don't forget to hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe. We are in Jamestown, Virginia, riding in style with our electric wheelchairs. On this recent trip, we got a big history lesson. We visited three historical colonial communities located on the Virginia Peninsula, bounded by the York River on the north and the James River on the south. It is called the Historic Triangle, which makes up of Jamestown, Colonial Williamsburg, and Yorktown. There will be three parts of the sightseeing tour. This will be number one about Jamestown, which is where the first English settlement was established. The second part will be about the Colonial Williamsburg, where the American Revolution first started. And the third one is Yorktown, where the British surrendered to George Washington. All three locations are living history museums with reenactments with people dressed up in period costumes. You have probably heard of Pocahontas and John Smith. Well, this is where the legend started in the settlement. Um, just don't block the other. Oh, that's my husband. Oh. <laughs> I can block it. <laughs>
Soldiers here. They would be apple pie, but is that beef right there? That's apple pie. That's apple pie. Oh, yeah. It's got so many spices in it, it turned it brown. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, it's the oven right there. I like that. That's what I was looking at. That's a, that's a, yeah, that is a cool looking oven. Is it functional? Oh, yeah, that's where the pie was baked. Wow. Very good. Oh no, Cavite. Oh, in the Cavite. Oh, the Cavite. Yeah, Tagalog. Tagasan Kayo? Huh? The Magetti. The Magetti, oh. We were there. I'm really my anakmo. Oh, anakmo? Uh huh. Ah. Can't learn that more. Huh? Can't learn that more, Babae. Oh, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. Hey, kids, what's going on? Oh, he knows how to speak. Uh, my wife is uh, Filipino. Oh, oh, you got beautiful Filipino. maganda. <laughs> Boy, maganda. maganda. Yeah. 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 Oh my god, is that Take a real hair? Oh, it's just an extension. Well, it looks like you real hair. Her hair is long too, but she wants it to be like a... It's beautiful. Saan kayo nakatira? Oh, taga Bui, Maryland. Oh, Maryland. Oh, nagbakasyan. Uh, Seattle, Tacoma, Washington. Are you serious? Yeah, oh, we're okay. we're. Kasi dito lang kami mga ano bahay namin ano three hours and a half. Yeah. Three hours from here. We're so in a motorhome. Huh? We're traveling in the United States in a motorhome. Oh really? Yeah. Oh my God. Yeah. My husband is there. He's walking the dog. No, it's the guy. You saw the guy walking the dog. Oh yeah. Oh, he is African American. African American. Uh huh. Your daughter, yeah. Yeah. Uh huh. Yeah, that's why. They're beautiful. Wow. Wow! Woo! Call your dad. Call your dad. Yeah, they are like, um, so did you go to, um, Williamsburg? Not yet. Uh huh. But right now, Williamsburg is dead right now because oh. it looks like there's not a lot of, you know, action. Hello, y'all. Because of COVID? Yeah, yeah. It's a nice place. Yeah, we're from Ohio. Yeah. Oh, Matagal ka na dito? Matagal na po, yeah. yeah. Uh, 60 years. Dito? Dito, yeah. Huh? Yeah, 60 years. I was 10. I was 10 when I came here. Are you serious? Yeah, I'm 70. I'm 70 now. You look so young. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you. You know, right? You look so young. Yes, sir. It's the Filipina. It's the Filipina. I know. <laughs> you know, I like Dumaguete. I like that. Uh... Dumaguete. I'm from yeah. Dumaguete. I graduated from St. Paul University. Oh, oh right okay. here. Uh -huh. We yeah. want to go there. We're going to go maybe when when it opens up, well, like you know. Well, I the seawall. Uh -huh. We're going to go, we're gonna go there. We're going to go there. In Maryland, when you are, you know. Yeah. Oh, no, in, this is Virginia. Maryland is only three hours Not away. too far. When you go to Washington, D.C., let me know. I will give you my number. Oh, yeah. 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 Oh, no. oh. It's, um...
um, you know, basically occupied by the Powhatans who, uh, who was Pocahontas' father. Hugh Powhatan was in charge of all those. That's a vast amount of land, so he had 32 tribal leaders underneath him to manage those little local regions here. Uh, from the fort, uh, the closest uh, town site was uh, the Pasquahe Indian. That was seven miles up the river. And uh, they found it through an archaeological dig because they had writings about it, but then they found it. And we're showing you just five buildings. The first four, you can just stick your head to the What are you doing? I am currently uh, working on reducing down this uh, wood arrow shaft and using the fire to go ahead and recondition my bow there. Oh. So the palatin would be using the fire um, for an endless list of things. Everything from cooking and preserving your food to clearing your farm field and driving game through the forest. The fire will be an endless means of doing that. And right now, I'm just using it to, to straighten and work this arrow shaft. Straighten. Strength of my family. All right. This is not really peak hunting season for the Paladin, but starting September, October, it will pick up pretty considerably. So you're going to make sure your equipment and your skills are broken. What is your hair piece made out of? That is the tail of a deer dyed red um, and pulled into oh. a hoop sewn onto a basin. It's a crown they say that the chiefs and the war captains will wear, often dyed red with feathers and things like that. Similar to the way in England, the Duke might wear a crown, but you know he's not the king, but he's somebody important. Right. Yeah, Palatine society, in large part, if you know what you're looking for and looking at, you'll be able to tell who everyone is based on the way they're dressed. Their paint, tattoos, jewelry, headpieces, all that kind of stuff. You look cool, man. Thank you, thank you. You look great. I like your necklace. Thank you. What is they it? The men will wear claws, rattles, fangs, and teeth. Um, around their necks and in their hair and through their ears right what, what animal is that on the, the claw? The primary and thumb talons of a red-tailed hawk. Hawk. So every time you yeah. see um, a western movie or yeah. you know some sort of pro like American commercial and there's a bald eagle flying, you hear that loud scream, that, nope, that comes from one of these. Not what a bald eagle actually sounds yeah. like. Yep, they dub it over with a red-tailed hawk because it sounds tough. I didn't know that. That's how I knew it was. Yep, sure enough. We actually have a bald eagle's nest in that pine tree right there. Essentially, Are you Pocahontas? It's not. Well, we're not, we're not here, although, um, I am what the best said that would be a This was pretty much an attempt to showcase, uh, what the real tattoos? Yeah. Uh, because by yeah. this point, she cool. has, uh, been wow. I got a couple of good ones. The they usually not, represent something that's very, important to you. You know, buckskin anymore and all this other Tattoos stuff. Tattoos usually They're represent something that's important to us. Some sig her significance in our life. We can make them something that reminds us of it. Yeah, essentially. And then before she actually does like make it uh, back some, to uh, the world, she ends up getting sick and dying. And then she ends up in the world. In fact, she's on the ship. Leaving. 